Today, we want to introduce you to the Dynamic Workplace, a platform from T-Systems provided centrally. On this platform, users have the opportunity to use all applications on all devices. Thomas, what do I need to get onto our portal? You need a PC like this one here. Secondly, you need a browser. And thirdly, you need an infrastructure. In other words, the internet. Okay, and it really works from any <laughs> device? Yes, it really does. It works with any device. You can use your Apple iPhone if you have one. You can use an Android phone. You can use any device. All right, Thomas, now show me how that works. Okay, Heike, I have my Windows 8 here and start the browser. Now you see the login screen. I enter my name, my password, and hit enter. And you can already see that I'm online. And is it also secure? Hiker, it's secure via username and password. But I also have the option of using OneTime Pass, a product that we provide. OneTime Pass is the most secure authentication option currently on the market. I'll show you how it works. I'll start the OneTime Pass. Here you can see the icon, which is where I now need to enter a key. So I enter it. And this key gives me my authentication for Dynamic Workplace. Only then do I have the highest level of security there actually is. I then have access to applications that have been authorized by the Board of Management and the Security Department. But I don't have to repeat the procedure every That's right. time. You only have to go through it okay. once, every time you log on. After all, it needs to be secure when you log on. It's like a key. You insert it in the lock, and you're the only one with this key. And really only you. That means I keep getting a new one-time pass. You keep getting a new one-time pass from the system and have to work solely with this password along with this additional software. Thomas, is there anything I need to consider when I now open an application from the Dynamic Workplace? Well, Hiker, it's really easy. You use the mouse, select an icon, and can start it. All it takes is a click. As you can see, the application has started and is running. OK. Now, in addition, the portal contains more than just icons. For instance, there's this info window. What does that mean? The info window is a special application that works on a one-to-one -one basis. It provides a very, very high level of cost savings. That means we identify each user, and we also know which applications each one is using. For instance, if an application isn't working, we post a message in this application window, such as your Outlook isn't working with the information. It will be back up again tomorrow at 8 a.m. Then all users affected by this malfunction will get this information. But that means I could also post personal information. Well, for example, are you going to finish your weekly report this week? No, it's an information window that's set up by the administrator. What you want can be found down here, namely the SharePoint group share. This is where you post your information. As you can see, we are uniting several platforms with each other. The things you require, the things an administrator requires, and exactly the same when a board member wants to provide information to just one very specific group. That can be done there too. OK, another question about language. Can I also get all of this in English or Spanish? What would you like? I'll English. show you. English. English? Spanish is more difficult. OK, the standard version of the platform right. is in German and English. We can set it up for any language there is. And what's really important, if the customer has his own language, Swiss German, for okay. instance, he can give us a table and we can set up precisely that language in the system. OK, and where do I configure the language? Down there, right? And there here's Germany. Is that...? Exactly. You can see the flags here. And now look for the right flag. The flag you select determines the language. So then only the interface is in the right language. And the individual applications? A very good question, Heike. This portal is totally independent of the applications. That means in the portal we can manage all of the languages there are available. And we can, of course, make the application that the customer gives us in those languages available on the portal as well. In other I words, see. we have a combination of two language versions and the customer decides what he wants. Great! Thomas, can I work with two devices at the same time? Yes, the Dynamic Workplace is set up in such a way that you can log on from both devices at the same time, or even from three or four. And of course, you can also block that option for security reasons, which is the default setting. The huge advantage of this is that you can take session roaming with you on the go. That means you start the application here, Drive Home, where you're also logged on, where you now want to work on the same version you completed here at the office. 
You need to revise it because you've remembered a typing error on the way home. You then start dynamic workplace session roaming here. Right, you see close application here. You close the application at home, so to speak, but you're not really closing it. You're just closing it here on the device from home. Okay. Right. Okay. And now you have exactly the same status displayed again. That's real session roaming. In other words, you always have all the applications in the status you need them anywhere you are. Tell me, Thomas, how does it work with Outlook, Link and SharePoint? Do they also work just like in real life? Yes, exactly as you have them on your local workstation. Here, let's start Outlook. Look, I'll show you. Okay, yes, there it is. And right here, I see a new email, SharePoint. Here's a link to SharePoint. Great, and you can already see a link here to SharePoint. And right there is already the answer to your question. SharePoint and Link work in this platform in exactly the same way. SharePoint, we have a centrally managed SharePoint server, and you can use all the functions you're familiar with from there in the same way. Of course, Link is the absolute highlight. You can make phone calls, chat, send invitations, and you have a link to Outlook. In other words, everything on one platform provided centrally. And do you have Outlook on your Apple device? No. Because it doesn't work. Right. It works now. Okay. Okay. Can you remember yep. every device? Right. Can you tell me where my SAP is now? Sure, Hiker. We have these user profiles and SAP isn't in this profile but I can simply add it. As you can see, I have the self-service here, which I'm starting. Okay, and can I then also order it for a certain time period? Yes, I'll show you when the application is up. There it is. Now I need to enter that I want the application and book it, just like with a regular shopping cart, which you're familiar with from other applications and self-service portals. Then I enter your name here, since your name already exists. That way, you also know where that's supposed to go. And now you can see the price. There we go. Not so bad, is it? No. Good. No. I'll order it. Now all the mechanisms are working fully automated, even with an approval process. So my boss has to approve it at that price. Yes, and once it's been approved, you'll have it five minutes later on the platform. So, Hiker, you can see SAP here. It didn't even take five minutes. I can start it now, and you can work with it. Good, isn't it? Perfect. Great. Yeah. Now... Beginning next week, I'll have a new project team member for three months. Can I also use this to quickly order the infrastructure for him? Of course. The question is, is he external or internal? He's external. External. Yeah. That means we can also differentiate here between external and internal employees. Security, security, security. It's very secure. Yep. And now I can create an external project team member for you here. It's exactly the same scenario as with SAP. If we go through this now, you'll be able to create the new project team member in just a short time with username and password. You just need to tell me their name, their email address, and which applications you want right. to give them. Well, let's go ahead and do okay. that now. I'll start the self-service again, and this time I'll just say new project team member, external, OK. I'll click on that. Then the application starts. So what's his name? Thomas Schmidt with two T's. That's important, of course. It won't work at all if I spell it wrong. Now, his email address? Thomas Schmidt at t-systems.com So he's getting an internal address from us, even though he's an external employee. Yes, he's part of our project team. There we go. Great. You nevertheless then see the check mark for external employee yes. so that he cannot access all of our in-house resources, okay. even though he has a T-Systems okay. address. Okay, yeah. Now, which applications would you like from the cart? Well, the complete version of Windows, and then he needs Acrobat Reader, uh, SAP, that's all. Okay. I'll start with SAP since yep. it's already at the top. SAP, the full Windows. Do you mean all of the standard Windows applications? Right. Word and everything that belongs to it? Yes. What was the last one? Acrobat Reader. Okay. Hiker, should he also be able to print? That wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm asking because you can also prohibit that right. for security's sake or allow it. OK, he should be able to print as well. And what about three-dimensional applications? That means he needs a lot of power. Yes. Right. We have three-dimensional applications that we can make available for this. 
for instance, to print in 3D, so that we can also print chassis straight from this platform. So I should order that now too. And what exactly is a chassis? Ah, a chassis is a case for the smallest thin client that we provide. I'll show you. I see. I just need to get it from the project room afterwards. I'm curious to see it. Okay. Okay. So 3D applications right. as well. All right, now I'll order it. All done. And you will, of course, also get the invoice since I did the order using your cost center. And that will also be available for me again in five minutes? Yes, it will be available for you in five minutes. Great, thanks. There we go. Tell me, Thomas, can I also put together my workstation or my user right. interface on my own? Yes, Heike, you can. Here at the top, you see Dynamic Workplace, which is the same for everyone. The benefit of this is, if any problems arise, that the help desk always has the same workplace to deal with, not individual systems. But you can, of course, put together your own private desktop using the plus button here. Here, I'm adding a plus for the address book, the Citrus Workplace and Home, like this. The birthday calendar would be good too. OK, the birthday calendar, and we're done. You've picked out some web apps. We'll make these web apps available. It's important to know that the customer can also bring the apps it's developed and have them available centrally on the platform. And that's how you can use all of the web parts on a hosted platform with a central infrastructure. But what about my private appointments? That's a very good point. If permitted by the company for security reasons, you can add your private calendar to the portal here on the right. You can then see when you receive or send an invitation, whether you have a conflict with a private doctor's appointment, for instance, in which case you decline the invitation or you confirm the time for this appointment. Right. Great, and uh, can I also access the intranet? Heike, that's the best thing about this product. One of the highlights, yes. Intranet access is available immediately in a secured environment, so that not everyone can access it from outside. See, you have it here. Perfect. Great, thanks. You're welcome. And what about reports? Can I generate reports with the portal? Yes, reports are included in the standard version. Availability of the platform, for instance, or reports on cost accounting. Sure. I can show it to you here in the demonstration. Or you can do it yourself. Just take the mouse. OK, I see. You see reports at the top. Now the platform immediately retrieves the report on current availability. OK. And could I also add in-house company reports to yes, that? Yes, I'll show that to you. We've opened an in-house company report here, and I'll scroll down to the bottom. And you can see how often the self-service was used, along with a list of applications showing how often and when they were booked. For instance, that's an in-house company report. The customer states what he wants, so it naturally has to be adapted to the customer's needs. That can be done too. OK, and now I have another question. I'm flying to the US tomorrow. What about working offline? Very good. At the beginning, I said there were three important things. A PC, regardless of what kind, a browser, and an internet connection. If you're sitting on the plane and have an internet connection, you can work with the portal in the same way. But there are some flight routes, like to the US, where certain places do not permit an internet connection, so you would just get your PC ready the day before. We do have a so-called online functionality, and naturally it only works for applications that also work offline. Picking up on your topic from earlier, SAP, you need a host at the end, otherwise you won't get an evaluation. That won't work. But Outlook would work in this case, since Outlook has an offline synchronization folder, and that will keep everything working. And that means when I go online again, it will all synchronize automatically. Exactly, that's how it works. Okay. This is discussed in advance in a project to make sure that we're talking about the right app that can do what you need, so that you can use it the way you want it. So what we're talking about here is a holistic solution for every customer and every staff member, highly secure, cost-efficient, usable on any device and all on a dynamic platform. Heike, you've summed it all up correctly. As I said, apps, user roles, extreme speed, every platform. And finally, the highlight, I promised, didn't I? 3D applications, a thin client. I'd say it's smaller than a cigarette packet. We print it, design it, Assemble it, and it's the smallest device for the dynamic workplace. My gift for you. Cool. That's great for a thin client. There we go. Thank You're you. You're welcome.